and who else wants some? And see you later, bitch. <laughs> Hey, yo, what is up guys, DJ Rick here, and gonna be talking close to the mic today, mostly because it is like 2 in the morning, I don't want to be waking people up, um, but anyway guys, we have got to the next region of the game, which I think this is now the 6th region, I, I, I have no idea, and sadly I don't know the names of the dungeons, but anyway, first dungeon in this region, um, turns out it's actually quite easy, it's a little bit easier than the last region, at least this dungeon is, so. Still rocking the same awesome music, so that's good. But uh, aside from that, guys, level 36. So we're getting pretty close to the max. I'm actually 94% into 36. Did he just replay the song? Huh. But, uh... So I'm about to hit 37, actually. So I've been kind of cruising along. Used my stamina potion for the first time that I remember. Last time I used it was during the EXP event. But decided, you know what? I'm probably not going to find myself using this before I get to the max level anyway, so I might as well just get it out of my inventory and just... I'm on a roll today, so let's just do that. Getting a lot... Actually, no. I've been <laughs> getting a whole bunch of levels into skills that I kind of glossed over. I want to try to get my thrust skill mac, which which is... Uh, well, I just use it. This skill. Because it actually gets a lot of add-ons at the maximum level, much like the upper swing uh, getting two hits. It has an animation change if you can get it to the high enough level. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to do on that that front. I'm like level 8, so I will guarantee get it next level, but I feel like I'm falling behind on my other skills just because of it, so who knows. Um, I don't have much room to change my build anymore, but I have a pretty good idea of what I want my final build to be, at least with the level 40 cap, so. Um, that might mean good news. I guess I can start working towards another build video or something, so who knows. Um, both for PvE and PvP, actually. I'm starting to get a good idea. But, uh, aside from that, guys, um, just finished up my first guide video in Dark Blood, which, if you guys know, I pride myself a lot in my guide videos. Um, these are kind of done on the spot live, but the guide videos are scripted, and I get to say exactly what I want to during those. So, um, hopefully we'll be getting some guides out, because I know... Uh, a lot of the things in this game are not necessarily explained, and they can they are really in depth. In fact, I'd have to say one of the biggest things about this game is how deep it is. You may think that it's just like you know, um, a beat 'em up and just you know beat guys up, but no, a lot of the systems in this game are extremely, extremely in depth, much more than you think. And uh, you know, can't say that for most games actually. Um, they'll have systems in place, but oftentimes they're useless. I'd say everything has its its purpose in here, and uh, collectively, I mean, if you partake in all of it, will be uh, will be towards making your character stronger. Which, you know, in in most games, it's like okay, get better gear, get you know maximum level, obviously, and that's it. You know, but in this game, it has a whole bunch of other stuff they have to consider. Um, if you want your character to be as strong as possible, which in my opinion is pretty much the goal of MMOs, right? Trying to make your character um, progress from level 1 to the max level or whatever, so... Oh shit, got some rocks. So, uh, the first guide I did was about the life uh, skills system. I chose two life skills to talk about, so... Um, don't know when I'm actually going to release that. I'm actually, <laughs> truth be told, I have to do a bit of shooting... I have to do like 30 seconds left of shooting because I need to show something in game but however none of my characters are uh, the correct level to show that off. Um, you have to be level 20 to get your life skill so can't show that off because all my characters already have little life skills so um, gonna make another character my berserker or excuse me my breaker is level 16 so that's something I'll just make level 20 just for the sake of the video so um, other than that I'm gonna be working on another guide won't mention anything about that just yet but just now I'm starting to work on guides and they're I'm actually kinda happy because I've got my experience with making guides in C9 and so the very first guide I make on this is gonna look as at least as professional as it used to on C9 by the end of it so pretty happy there uh, but you guys can see dungeons length have not gotten any shorter in fact this one in particular is quite long as well um, but the last region was if if the last region was any indication of that, because we're having the, pretty much the same oh shit duration of these, and I died. Oh my god! I, I was gonna use some potions to heal up, which again the whole thing about the potions, and I don't have any dailies, so the whole thing about the potions is still apparent right now in these dungeons. But man, I can't believe I died there. I totally have potions for this now. Speaking of which, potion making. 
Uh, didn't talk, well, I talked about potions, but I didn't talk about actually making them. I am starting to make them on my character, which uh, require a lot of materials. In fact, it, <laughs> it's starting to get pretty expensive, actually. So, press all the buttons hitting the cliff area to open the cave, which uh, I already passed the cliff area and didn't hit any of the switches, so I totally failed there. Gotta say, this boss is a big pushover. Has very uh, telegraphed attacks, and quite frankly, if you are able to knock him down, he is easily punishable. Which I don't even think you can knock him down anymore. Okay, that's about the biggest move he's got. Let's get out of there. And didn't, so he landed right on top of me. Holy shit, man. Right at. <laughs> I fall prone to saying this a lot. A boss is easier than he actually is, and I get fucking destroyed. Okay. <laughs> Let's not die here, at least. At least don't kill me. Okay, good good timing for the grab right there, because I get the iframe from it. Ooh, hit him with a stun, and he's going to take extra damage for that. But like I said, he, he has, like, no getup attack, so he, you don't have to worry about him punishing you afterwards. He, he has that, I guess, but no immediate getup attack. And he's about to go down. He's about to go down. What do I want to hit him with? I know. I know what I want to hit him with. And I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, I go these guys like good times. But anyway, guys, got the level up. So there you go, level 37, favorite number. But anyway, guys, um, just wanted to get a few of those updates off of my back end. Sorry I had to be quiet this whole dungeon, but you know, you know how it is. Super late. All right, guys. Hey yo, we are jumping into the Lucid Forest area, and you're probably wondering what the hell are you doing in the first area in the game, and uh. Sorry, it's because the quest has me going in here. I don't know why. Apparently, some people have invaded the forest now and are fucking, fucking up the noobs, so I gotta go save them. But, um, I'm getting actually pretty bad at judging how much time I'm in <laughs> or doing videos. Usually, I used to be pretty good at this, but I, I feel like I have to be uh, better at that because I gave it my outro in the last video, but I wasn't even close to, <laughs> to my usual playtime, so... Uh, we're doing another dungeon though, so obviously this is more specialized. These guys are clearly harder. I'm already at 20% and only a few guys even spawned. Luckily for me, this dungeon is like short, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny how it like combines enemies from the other regions that I've played. <laughs> along with the level 1 uh, enemies. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I fought all these guys before. Ooh. At least for this quest. They're, they're, it's not like that in the regular dungeon. But uh, guys, got some good news, actually. I, I took a break after my uh, that first video, and then I went to go check my email, and apparently I got selected for the streaming service. There was five people that got selected for the official Dark Blood streamers, and uh, I was selected, so pretty happy about that. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Whoa, four of them. Okay, bring it. So, yeah, guys, I'm actually really excited about that. And, geez, that guy got jacked hard. Uh, you too. And who else wants some? And see you later, bitch. <laughs> but uh, pretty excited. I, I will probably make a post about it on my Facebook, how uh, what I'm going to be planning to do and what they said I have to do. And I'm actually looking really forward to that. So I know I kind of just throwing it in there. But anyway, pretty excited about that, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, check my Facebook uh, for any kind of future info about that and subscribe on on youtube follow me on facebook and finally uh follow on twitch as well i probably got that all backwards but anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later